Welcome back to Pacific Drive. I played this last about a week ago. Oh, a week and a half ago. And I I liked it. I was a little overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that you do in this game. But I liked the um the weird anomalies and the atmosphere enough that I wanted to return to it. So I figured we would um we would play it again. I wish I could get those FPS to um 144. Mine eyes that they my eyes were born to see 240 frame rates chat. I don't think you um you understand. All right. Well. Oh yeah, I I made um stars and planets on there. Pack survival tools. So, um let's see if I remember how to do this. The game has given me a checklist. It probably this is a kind of a dense game to just pick up and, you know, figure out where you left off. This stuff. Oh right. Um. Let me let me uh, transfer materials into here, and we're gonna make some repair putty. All right. We're gonna make a battery jumper. Okay. Battery jumper. We're gonna put those in the car. My eyes see Oppenheimer. Like, how much do they see Oppenheimer? Like, all the time? Vinny, I kinda wanna DM you funny clown video. You, you're gonna have to DM my clone. The one that is trying to help you with your channel. That one. I guess people don't know the story of the, uh... The scammer. There's a, there's a scammer who... There's a scammer for every streamer at this point. That's just, like, a rite of passage. But the scammer that threatened me into friendship... That was, like... Trying to steal people's account info, I think. But also saying to me, like, I, I called him out. I, I messaged him. I'm like, you shouldn't do that. It's bad. He's like, alright, I'll stop doing it if you be my friend. In broken English. I'm like, hmm. How about that? So, chat, I had a quest. And I don't remember... Oh, so we're going to the town. Um, do we know which, which one is the town? Green. Oh, yeah. So, wait, it, it's th this one, yeah? Okay. Vinny, are you going to the TikTok Riz party? I, I, I hate everything that you just said. But yes, I'll be there. I never even heard of that. P apparently people know what that is. Man, this just makes me want to watch the X-Files again, chat. Watch Twin Peaks instead. I really want to try to get into that at some point. 
like I said, I tried. I got through a good chunk of the first season, but fell asleep a bunch. I wouldn't mind trying again one day. If only so I can watch season three and really enjoy it. Chat, how do I do this? You can't go directly. You have to drive there via stages. So I have to go to E5 first. I see. Uh, uh, thank you. Sorry, streamer brain. Um, chat. What's the headlight button? Oh, Z. So, if you haven't seen me play this game, this is a pretty interesting video game about scavenging. You're in the Pacific Northwest. And you're in a busted ass station wagon. What's up, button? I just want to... Oh. oh, it was hold tab. Feel like it's gone now. Well, I know it's here somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Oh man. Back from PAX Le Let's Pacific Rim. Second to last tab in the logbook. Remnant? Experiment? Was that it? The Arctivice needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the Arctivice until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. Chat, wasn't there supposed to be a building here? Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently, a, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties from what did What the fuck? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm, but these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun, but it's better to know what you're up against. Could the remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. The car! What is my accent? It's so weird! I wonder if you're already feeling the remnants' effects, driver. Have you been fixating on the car, maybe? If only we knew where remnants came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like v visible manifestations. The remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. What's that noise?
Someone said, I hope we get to meet these interesting people. I hope we never meet them. So I can be completely honest. You know, ruin the mystery. They're better in our mind, chat. Anomaly. Beating heart. I don't want to read that right now because it's speakers. This is another anomaly. Sizzling mist. Presence of concentrated plasma particles. What's that noise? My door is open. Maybe I can hit into a tree to close it? Uh. Oh, that's right, I have one off-road tire and that's it. Glittering boulder? Hey, this is Anna. I'm totally going so fast right now. Oh no, no, it happened again. I'm collecting some data in the weather stations. Oh no! Or these new things out there. Oh, help. If you hold them, or if you touch them, you, uh, hold on, Charlie. Look, I'm not an engineer or a physicist. I'm a meteorologist. My guess is these things are discharging huge amounts of energy into whatever they touch, and when they hit a car, you totally go so fast. Gotta go fast. I guess I need a key for that. Ugh, it's so bright. Oh, the pry bar would work? Oh, it does, it does, it does. You have read that as William Shatner. That is who should have played the Emperor in Dune, Shatner. People are like, oh, Christopher Walken took me out of the movie. Shatner, just like, like a chameleon, goes from role to role, blending in. You never even know it's him half the time. He's, hello, it's me, Emperor. My Arrakis, my, my Dune. Do you think people even bother directing Shatner anymore? Oh god, chat, what is that? Spicy air! Chat, there is a fucking massive concentration of spicy air in this region! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh 
Oh boy. Oh my god! Ah, oh, shit. Shit, 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 no! This is bad. Holy shit. We we've got some... We've got some damage here. Door gone. Door is gone. I don't think we're fabricating another door. Slap that on there. That's a lot of damage. Chat, what is this, um, yellow marker here? What, what is, what is that? The energy for research points? Seems to be energy resources. Oh, I know what it is, right? Okay, I remember now. Is that my door? Hello, Cloud. It is me, your new best friend, Chadley. I'm here to let you know that these anomalies are very important, and you should be addressing all of them. Also, Cloud, you should probably address me with more kindness. I have the power to end you. I will fucking destroy you, Cloud. You hear me, Cloud? Cloud. This is my house, Cloud. This is not your house. Um, so, right, I just picked this up. Did I just awaken the, the devils? Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. No! We are struggling. You're in park. So 
so I was. I'm still kind of stuck against this tree. What are those red things on the map? Oh, never mind. That's just like a dead end, I guess. Someone just said this is why they're charging 15 bucks to drive into Manhattan now. On top of tolls, for me to get into Manhattan, I have to drive over the Verrazano Bridge, go over the BQE, which in and of itself is a gauntlet. That's like a fucking, what's that, the name of that movie from the 70s? Like, like, um, Death Race 2000? And then, um, the Battery Tunnel. All tolls, all the way down. Fifty dollars to drive there and back. Not quite, but... I mean, not that far off. You know what it's time to do? It's time to take a boat. Oh yeah, parking! I saw spam a lot over the weekend, chat. I did. And you know what? It was a nightmare. I was late because my GPS fucked me and I'm driving down 42nd Street from the east side, which I should have known better, but I'm like, oh, well, it says this is the fastest way. It must be the fastest way. It wasn't the fastest way! So I missed the number of... Sp I, I missed spam a lot. Not all of it, but I missed a decent amount. And that pissed me the fuck off. And then parking was $52. <laughs> so, like I said, I love New York City. Good show, though. Chat, isn't this an impact hammer thing that is needed here? Now, here's the thing. If there's no trains out of Staten Island, that's right. You What you have to do is take a ferry to Manhattan, which is free. And then you can take a train for a couple bucks. And I should have done that. But I was, like, running kind of late and mistakes were made. And essentially, I was late to spam a lot. I had to spend a fuckload of money. Because parking near uh, Times Square near Broadway is a nightmare. Should have just taken the train and the ferry. Don't know why I didn't. Stupid, dumb mistake. Is the parking free? No, but you can take a train to there, which is cheap. It's actually free um, for most stops, but the ferry is like $3. So I could have made that like a $7, well, a little more than that, like $9 worth of, you know, travel. But yeah, I fucked up. Uh, but spam a lot was good, what I did see. <laughs> Ferry's still three dollars. No, 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 it was, it's free. It's just the train is three dollars. Like the, the MTA, the Metro card is like two seventy-five or something. Hang on, we got a steel panel back there. This is a crude panel. Wait, no, how do we... like how do I get this off is there a way to get this off chat that there's a specific tool for that oh well then never mind
Also, the Curb Your Enthusiasm finale, I thought was actually really, really good. Bittersweet, but I loved it. I loved it. It was a really good way to end the show. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Petor Town, Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Might need to do some repairs. So we are here. We're going to green, and then this this area is massive. Your battery is half empty. So we should go there now. Vinny, I feel like I'm reading some real banger comments. Could you be bothered to maybe read them? I feel like I'm cooking up some real banger chat member insults. Could you be bothered to, uh... Just test them out for me. Like I want to, I want to see how they go over. Can I use? Can driver? Are you sure about this? Well, that'll be fine. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cap is still giving off. After chat member, you better deliver, because I'm. I know your name now. I'm going to pay attention. You better deliver. I get you, Francis, but Poppy's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. You know what? Vinny, I clicked on their name. There isn't even a message history before that one. This chat member has interrupted my stream. And it worked. Wow. Uh, I can't find it now. Let, let's see. Hang on. Here it is. Vin, uh, Vine Sauce. Why do you live in New Rock? When do we park at the roadside and have a picnic? Some banger chat me messages. Really? You're going to take her side? This isn't about sides. That's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Oh, now a bunch of copycat chat members are like, Vinny, read my chat messages. That chat member was a pioneer. No. Fuck. Dude. What up? Holy shit. didn't take my car, it's fine. This better be worth it. 
Oh, what have I done? Horse that just leads outside. So we're making a new one. How close can you get to these things before they explode? I guess that answers my question. Oh, I need that fucking thing again. We have many canned goods. You can double click the stuff that isn't auto transferred. Okay. Again, the atmosphere of this game is great. It reminds me of, um, I mentioned this probably last time, but if I didn't, I get like the Half Life 2 Episode 2 vibes from this game. Man, if only I could get in there, that would be so good and so beautiful. Ow! No! Alright. Uh, impact hammer. I need gas cylinder and gear. Man, I should have... I shouldn't have left without my impact hammer, and I don't know why I did. What a heavy load. Heavy load. It must be. Chad, this seems bad. Pretty bad. door does not stay shut. Impact Hammer, you're dying NES for the funny corrupt. Needs more ice pops. Well, get the car close to the anomaly, but it's all, like, bad yellow ground. Go under the bridge. I swear I drew some blood! Now 
more sparse. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to high ground? I hate you. No, I, I damn well can't see a goddamn thing. Chat, this is bad. My car is so fucked. My, my poor car. <laughs> no. Vinny, why do my eyes hurt? Did you spend time uh, enjoying the eclipse by chance? Oh god, what have I done? No, 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 bad. There's no reason to get out of my car here. I thought there was something I could loot. Oh yeah, you can scrap those. Well, I forgot about that. I gotta get back into my car though. Because I'm already lazy enough to just keep going. How low is my car battery? Is that battery right there? Oh, I see. Free hugs. Hazmat cabinet. That could make the pressurized hammer. There's a guy at um, PAX every year. Free shrugs. Dedicated. Very dedicated. Flare gun. Vinny, do you like the thing? What thing? There's a lot of things. You can't just say the thing. You know, the thing. The thing. You know, the thing. It's like a mobster movie. Uh, I, I, I love the thing. The thing is in my top ten favorite movies of all time, I'd say. Well, it is. It definitely is. John Carpenter's thing. I was so happy I got to meet John Carpenter at Comic-Con this past year. Or, or uh, you know, last year. Even if it was just for like, hey, I make music, your music is inspiring to me, and I love your movies so much. And he said thank you. And he shook my hand. Oh, actually, no, we didn't. I didn't ask him for a picture. I just wanted to say those things to him, and then I left. I wanted to shake his hand, but also, you know, as someone like, okay, I have been in the position where a lot of people want to shake my hand. I would prefer not to shake hands in our modern age. And I don't even, 
like necessarily mind shaking hands with people like that's kind of part of the thing and i'm still down if if i meet people at a convention if that's what they want no problem but you know there is a part of me that is a little bit like oof But I have hand sanitizer on me at all times these days, like at conventions. But anyway, yeah, no, I, I got to just say thank you for the movies and the music, basically, and that they were a big inspiration. And that was pretty much it, and that's all I needed. Hmm, car's still not close enough to Cappy. What now? Cappy. How about, uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What? No, it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly. And if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says it's, that exactly? Yeah. In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way, yeah, you got this kit for it. Someone said, Vinny, you could do the restaurant industry elbow instead. I do. Yeah, I do that. Um, does any chat member know what this transmuter does? Well, it says gear to duct tape. Put a gear. Oh, oh, I understand. So it's one specific object and it just tells you what it is. I thought it was like gear, like, oh, the gear on your back in your backpack. But the actual ingredient gear. This door is such a piece of shit. <laughs> what a piece of junk. Hey, the Falcon's the fastest in the galaxy, bro. I'm sorry, did you say something? The full... My favorite acting of all time is just Harrison Ford when he's just checked out. Like when he, he's just done and he doesn't like care about the project he's in. Harrison Board, my favorite actor. like a terrible idea. No, not dead. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the ARC device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car's signal, and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. Hmm. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Hmm. Ah, none of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Someone said Chevy Chase also does a good I don't give a fuck performance. I gotta say, a, a very good, bad performance that I enjoy is, um, Nothing But Trouble, the Dan Aykroyd Penis Nose movie. Love Chevy in that movie, because he just, he just does not give a fuck. I mean, he's, he's pretty, 
funny in the right roles. But when he's checked out, it's so obvious. Someone said you could almost see the contempt in his eyes. That's that's what the person said a minute ago, and it's like... It is weirdly entertaining. Must be terrible to work with. Oh, was... Not... Like, even... That's not even... A guess. That, that is a confirmation. that do? Someone said, I just assume all celebrities are. I, I feel like that's not true. I feel like there's people that are actually... We don't know. You just don't, you don't know. But I, I do feel like that's... Crude headlight. Yeah. Um... Like, Michael J. Fox seems like a nice guy. And again, it's just assumptions. Who the fuck knows for sure, but it just... You know, once in a while. But then there are celebrities who don't give a single fuck about their public image. And are just... They just wear them... Their hearts on their sleeves. Like, apparently Larry David is a surprisingly nice guy. Despite playing a curmudgeon to end all curmudgeons. Use the Tinker Station to identify and fix the car's quirks. Okay. What seems to be the problem? Uh, the front right door is opened. Huh? Get the items out of the vacuum or it will get destroyed when you leave the area. Huh? Left side is the cause, the right side is the effect. Oh, so... If I say, um... Car... Um, par- so it's parking brake, right? Shifts to park. Front right door opens. Correct diagnosis. Guess refunded. Good guess. You'll need one mechanics kit. Fix quirk. Weird. Thoughts on the Pink Floyd controversy. Um, I talked about it yesterday. It's on the Extra Sauce channel on YouTube. Which one? <laughs> At the moment, it's the, the competition... ...one? Yeah, the, the stupid thing. I, I talked about it yesterday. I don't really feel like going back into it. Crude door. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this. It Can I just, like, break the crude door for parts? That won't give carts, uh, parts. <clears throat> so what do I do with this? Is this just a backup, or should I... Carts. <laughs> um... I want to use the tech tree thing to get the disassembler. Thank you, Sphinx. So, disassembler, yeah? Alright. Just 
So, this game is confusing, so please uh, bear with me while I figure out what the fuck I'm doing here. Garage. Um, matter deconstructor. I need more scrap metal and I need gears. So we need more scrap metal. We need gears, okay. I'm gonna save my parts and I'm gonna work towards that. Towards. Towards it. Maybe there's something else I can get in the meantime that isn't as a... Uh, expanded locker seems good, but you need matter deconstructor before you can do most of this stuff. Wards. I had a weird dream. I was back at the fucking Generation Lost Mall in White Plains. And I just kind of relived the event. It's weird. But also, it's been almost a year. I mean, it's a little... A little under a year at this point, but... Time fucking flies, chat. You never left. Yeah, seriously. Goes by quick, so you better appreciate. Have you appreciated today? Chat? Chat, have you appreciated? <laughs> Are you gonna do another IRL stream like that again? I mean, I... I film conventions. If I'm... in... Uh, someplace interesting... then yeah. I'm gonna gear. Off-road tire is scrap metal, rubber, gear. Let me craft one more off-road. Because we have two off-road. Uh, one off-road. So we have summer. Summer. Let us install this here. Now, two off-road must surely be better than one off-road. Vinny, you actually died under that anvil. None of this is real. It's all in your head, Vincenzo! You never were a streamer! You never were a streamer, Vincenzo! Mario- sorry, in my fantasies, Mario only calls me Vincenzo. Fantasy, chat, the word fantasy does not imply sex. Okay, alright, it doesn't only imply sex. Why are me and Mario having sex? Okay, okay, chat. Uh, fantasy, um, island. Remember that? Was that sex? No? Does anyone know what fantasy island is? No? Ah, that's good. What about Fantasia? That's not fan- hang on. Okay, we're gonna... repair. No! Oh! How do I repair this? Do I need a glass kit? Oh man, I'm wasting so much scrap metal. C 
sealing kit. This one... Alright. Well, we need a mechanics kit at some point, right? So it's probably not... Why do I have two of them? Did I make two by accident? Hold C to identify fixes. Oh boy. The Wheel Factory? Dong Mattingly? That's your name? Dong Mattingly? I had his card. The Don Mattingly card. I was like, he was like, the, the good, he was like a good baseball player, I heard. I didn't know because I had no idea what I was even doing. I was collecting baseball cards without knowing anything about baseball. So, I mean, hey, the good news is... Wants me to bring repair putty. The good news is I have a ton of baseball cards from... Loose tire. Uh, from the early 90s, late 80s even. Like, I have, um... Dun what was it, Dunruss? What, what's the name of the cards, chat? There was, um... Tops. There was, um... Started with a D. Dunbe. I don't know. Which, um... Which one should I go to, chat? Don Ross. It was it was Don Ross. Don Huge. Hey, uh, Sphinx, if you're still here, what do these numbers represent? I'm gonna ask you because you know you know your sh your shit. The numbers, the ones, the threes, these on the side, the blue numbers. How many maps there are to get to that location? Oh, uh, maybe I don't want to do that kind of thing. Okay. You not toggle a legend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gotcha, my dog. Gotcha. My dude. Ah, number one. Have I ever told you about my goon cave back when I was in charge of the Stargazer? No, sir. You've told me about your academy goon cave, but never when you were in command of the Stargazer. Very well, Mr. Riker. Uh, it's a new story, very similar to the old one. Only for the sake of changing up the bit slightly, so I can't be accused of reusing the same bits over and over again. Sir, did you know a blue hollow plastic barrel fell on my knee? And I need a knee replacement. When was this, Mr. Wharf? It happened during the earthquake, sir. The earthquake? Mr. Wharf, we are on a starship. There are no earthquakes in space, Mr. Wharf. Well, if you don't believe me, sir, then your goon cave has no honor. Ah, yes, a familiar bit. Oh, 
Uh-oh. We're, we're in a uh, scummy yellow zone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jesus. It's been Leave my years. car alone. Haha, <laughs> move on. Next question. Oh, there is a great Tommy Wiseau uh, documentary, hour and a half YouTube video covering like everything about Tommy Wiseau that was very interesting. However, I would warn you, it's slightly intrusive. This hallucination wave that triggered, we picked up its waveform, and it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnants waveform. The I, say in, I say intrusive, but Tommy says he's from New Orleans and gets a lot of shit for it. It's like, that's your, how deep? Not that deep. It doesn't go that deep, but it kind of gives you the information on how Tommy maybe got his money to make The Room, because he spent like $6 million to make that movie. But um, he says, I from New Orleans, American guy. <laughs> it means they're related. And, 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 and more, people are like, That's, that, that accent is pretty heavy for New Orleans, says, no? We have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. <laughs> time we find a remnant uh, a lead on the mass hallucinations of 61 and a possible way to free the driver bitch me francis because this is the best thing that's happened in decades just when things were getting dull the remnants it was a key to the mass hallucination this whole time yes and you nearly destroyed it <clears throat> i i need to go uh -huh. this is huge francis we have so much work to do I know. I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 and be careful. Oppie's not in her right mind, okay? So, uh, you watch yourself. Uh, yeah, so he, he says he's all-American New Orleans guy, but he has a very thick almost indistinguishable Eastern European accent. So it goes into, like, Poland. Like, he's, for, he's Polish. But he doesn't like to talk about it for some reason. And it talks about how he, in order to get into the, um, into, like, get a SAG card, like the, um, Actors Guild, Screen Actors Guild, he filmed his own commercial for his, uh, blue jean store, all-American blue jean store, and he was able to use a loophole that has been repaired to get his SAG card. <laughs> and, uh, there's, like, stuff like that. There's, it talks about real estate, like, one of the buildings he owned burned down. Like, when I say intrusive, it's not going into, like, so much detail that it's like, oh, this feels weird. I mean, maybe that's why I wanted to mention it. But it is genuinely fascinating, and I do find him to be a very, very strange guy. I mean, especially if you read Greg's book. Dude's a little weird. But, you know, the video is online, and I think if you're a fan of Tommy, 
and you want to know, like, how we got the money to make the room, it's worth watching. But, yeah, just be aware that it's going to go into some detail that he doesn't really discuss. And if you find that to be a little fucked... Oh, my car! If you find that to be a little bit fucked, then maybe don't watch. What the hell is this? Black paint. Oh, cool. Oh, man. An all-black station wagon, chat. Yeah, it's like the Batmobile. Can you link the video? No. I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't have it up at the moment. I don't know what the video is. It's just, um... Ah. Uh, Tommy Wiseau hour and a half documentary? Is it Who is Tommy Wiseau? It might be. By Dr. Hugo. That, that sounds about right. Chat, I'm, like, fascinated by him. And his movie. And I do... I know that there's been some... If you read Greg's book, there's some dirty laundry, for sure. Which... You know, who would know him better than Greg? But at the same time, like, I don't necessarily need to know about that, but his public persona is so incredibly interesting and weird to me that I can't help but be fascinated by the guy. I don't want anything, like, bad to happen to him. Like, I, I, I really, I want him to make more movies. <laughs> like, I want to see his big shark movie. Did you ever hear the story about Tim Heidecker um, telling, saying that him and Eric bring, brought him out to eat at a restaurant? I read that in the worst possible way possible. See? My English brain is bad tonight. I did... Yes, I'm aware of that story. Someone thought that Vine Shakespeare emote, the Vine English emote, had sunglasses on. And it doesn't. And the truth is, m maybe it should. Someone just said, oh, those are eyes. I don't know if the picture that they used of me was just, like, dark. But I also do have the um, Italian, you know, slightly darker eyes. Like, um, how do you even describe it? Like, I have the, um, I had bags under my eyes when I was, like, 16. Wait, it's you? I thought it was just Shakespeare. Well, yeah, that's, that's my face on Shakespeare. <laughs> It's a trap. It's a goddamn trap. It's a monster. This place is learning how to ambush us. You know what that means? It means it doesn't want us here. We'll just keep moving. There'll be some good... good eating down the road. But, no, I've, I've always gotten a decent amount of sleep. There, Like, once every couple months, for like a couple days, I don't sleep well. 
there are times where I don't sleep well and my brain is just racing. I do overthink. I do sometimes like get myself into a thought loop and then I have a hard time sleeping. But I also value sleep and I make time for it and I try my best to you know, I found ways to to sleep a little bit better that work for me. So yeah, I've always gotten enough sleep. It's not that's not the reason I had like bags under my eyes. I think it's just the um, the jeans. Be just jeans. Remember the melatonin dreams. I know that we have a video. I have a video about that on on my uh, YouTube channel. All my fucking my fucking weird melatonin dreams, yeah. Decal kit, Arda. Yeah, we definitely want that. What's that cool noise? We need as much metal as possible. There's a part of me that wanted to do melatonin again just to see what kind of dreams I would get. What the fuck happened here? Huh? Yeah, do melatonin, bro. Everyone's doing melatonin these days. It's fucking cool. You don't want to be cool? Those are your doors? Why were why are they my doors? I I didn't make them. Put this crude door here. I mean, it's better. This door was fucked up. That car looks like it sells meth. I like how you're implying that the car is selling meth and not, like, people inside the car. The Walter wagon. Ah! Walter! Yeah, we don't need this. Alert the...
Chad, if I get that yellow thing, does that mean I have to exit immediately? I forgot. Is that how this works? No? I remember something happened. You can stay as long as your health bar lasts. Okay, I remember there, there was some... ...thing on the wing. Also, these off-road tires are extremely helpful, and they are paying for themselves, and then some. Oh, good. That's nice. Why are we doing that? Why am I in there? I thought that was the fucking... That's not the thing. I thought that was the thing. It's not the thing. Where's the thing? Oh, there's the thing. going to some other buildings. I want to, like, return to the garage with a ton of stuff. Oh, what's this cool shit? Ah! Vehicle protection compromised. Wow, you fucked up my vehicle, electricity. Stop that. Holy fuck. Stop that. What is going on? I just got an achievement called Great Scott. Oh, this is parked way too close. though. Go chase a flare. I don't like that noise. Is my car going to be okay? Life is poison? Oh, limb is... Who's... Poison. Limb is poison. Oh, okay. Some crazy shit going on out here, chat. Definitely want that. Who's Lim? I don't know how your daffy pals out. Alright. 
we gotta make a uh, we gotta make some repair juice because this car has seen better years. And we can slap some of this on there. Vinny, you need to get out of here. The zone is closing in. No. Oh! Oh. I kind of thought I could stay here as long as I wanted. I got bad advice. I forgot about the zone. Why would I do that? Why would I do that?! No lights. Chat, I can't. I have no headlights. The buzzsaw took out the headlight. <laughs> Car is fucked. That gear is gone forever now. I... I owe you an apology. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. The numbers, I Mason. I myself for a long time. cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you I mad. I fucked up and... Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. Wasted need some repair. Whatever you decide from here. Are you making use of my fabrication station to fix up that junker? You should while I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage. If you need to take anything for a spin. Now, we need bigger storage. But we also, we need to do the, the thing. We're going to do the thing now. I'm going to build the thing. So, status monitor. Is there an easy way to just repair the whole goddamn car? No. I need four gears. Got enough. Got it. Matter deconstructor kit. Have you found the friendly dumpster yet? It's behind the shop. If you're ever in dire need, pay it a visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. Wow. 
to this. So, I, t I can take this crude door and just deconstruct the door. Where's the stuff? There's no stuff. Oh. It was a gift, so no materials. Steel sheet. Oh, I can only make one. And these are the same, yeah? Can't deconstruct these. These are also gifts. Anything with a heart. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, if I had a little bit more scrap metal. We could make uh, expanded storage. Inventory full. Oh, I, I was pressing the wrong thing. Okay. This tire doesn't probably need to be in here. We, well, I mean, it's it's good to have a spare, right? Pretty sure some of these tires are totally fucking destroyed by now. Um, the right headlight, is, is it... It's just gone. Limb pulse emitter if you have the materials for it. Detailing station. Matter regenerator. What's Sphinx? What was that? Utilities? Utilities. Pulse emitter. Scan a bunny anomaly. Fuck is a bunny anomaly? Okay, we gotta look for bunnies. Benoy. Benoy? Turbo light engine. Has more health, has more horsepower, but less MPREG. So this one's 18 MPG, this one's 14. Light replacement kit. Yeah, we need more steel sheets. Side rack and side rack storage. Yeah. Our body. Lead plated bumper. We're still using lead? Lightning rod. Side fuel tank. I think we're good on fuel. Our storage. Side storage. I need to unlock a side rack. I need another steel sheet. Let's do it.
And now that becomes side storage. Okay, so we can make one right now. Yeah, that, that's great. That'll do. Mm. Might need another repair kit. Repair putty. No scrap metal. If you got dumpster pearls, put them into the deconstructor. Oh, we also have a... a bulb. Bulb. Carl Pilkington has... completely changed the way I say the word bulb. Um, we also have one headlight, like the Wallflower song, and it's fucking broken. Headlight... Light replacement? You need a light replacement kit. Just scrap it. Well, this one is poop. Completely poop. Like, absolute garbage. Hey, that's pretty good. It's a decent amount of stuff. So, yeah, do I just make another one, or do I have to unlock a light repair kit? Looks like I have to unlock something. Might as well make new ones, yeah. Maybe it's a tool light replacement kit. The kits are for when you're in a pinch during driving. those and it's maybe a little bit cheaper this car looks like dog shit <laughs> hell yeah dog shit car unlocked burnt orange paint we got the black paint which I definitely want to use that that's gonna be fun soon but let's uh let, let's just detail the car a little bit i can see how people are putting many many hours into this game this stuff is kind of fun so we got the paint shelf here we got that we got that we got that um Goon stains? You, you didn't have to say goon stains. 
Goonstains sounds like like a clown from the 50s or the 40s that was forgotten for many years. The Goonstain Bears. I, I think it's Goonstein Bears. Thank you for the raid. Someone said I was predicting how you would decorate it. I mean, we're limited to what paint we have right now, but... And also, remember, the car looks like... this. <laughs> Not really a whole lot you can do. Hear that. Wow. Wow. Just on the back there. What a piece of junk! I've been saying that a lot lately. I have one repair putt. I want to make this good, chat. We got to make this good. It's going to be good. We can't waste it. to get rid of these crude doors and replace them with steel doors at some point. Like, you know, we got steel door over here. We can, we can do the research. Someone said, every time I heard that, I had to check my pants. Hmm? Mm, yes. You're like, oh, there it goes again. Doc, I don't know how this keep happening. I watch this guy on the stream, and every now and then, I look down and, you know... Someone said my girlfriend hates that noise. Yeah, I bet she does. I don't even know what that means, chat member. Was that mean? I don't know. News. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. I need you to head back towards Sierra. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Sierra. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. A mass hallucination. I can't believe it happened again. Strange. I can't believe I missed it. You should do a marked story one. Well, I don't want to spend too much time because I want to go play Final Fantasy. We'll do a quick one. 
But I will next time, if there is a next time. There may be a next time. I'm enjoying this game. Just raid everything. I'm going to... Yes, I'm going to. But I'm also not going to take, like, too much time. Chad, I thought of a cool word. I don't know if I've used it before. I think I have, but... To measure the gormlessness of someone? Gormlitude. Oh, wait, yeah, I've definitely said that on stream before. Multiple times? Oh, sick. Can't even remember what words I'm inventing. Like a real Shakespeare. Like a true Shakespeare. I know not when the inspiration will strike. But I only know that when it does, I have to share the load. Oh, and about those anomalies. I don't recommend you spend much time around them. Unless you've got a death wish, in which case, be my guest. When we're all dead and gone, and limb technology but a footnote in the history books. The anomalies will remain. They're the legacy of our work here, and the Olympic Peninsula belongs to them now. So I need to find a, a rabbit anomaly of some kind? Like a, a bunny anomaly? Weird spiky balls you saw the first time you played. Chat, what, um, what am I supposed to do to that door? Do I have to keep hitting it? Can't open that door. That's a fake door. Man. I wasted hammer for that. This fog. And the forest and everything. The, and the light. Like, through the trees is fucking awesome. I can smell the atmosphere. I want to go, like, just outside Seattle. Like, an hour outside Seattle to a place like this and just sit at a diner and have a slice of apple pie like Cooper have a burger a milkshake and then leave and go back home gotta go farther than an hour okay an hour and ten minutes Twin Peaks is like three hours away. Oh, man. You can go to the actual diner they shot in. That's cool. And, like, I'm saying that as someone who didn't even finish watching Twin Peaks. And yet I'm weirdly... Well, I mean, it's more of the Pacific Northwest in general. Like, I just find it interesting and, and kind of neat. As opposed to, you know, me wanting to go visit, like, movie sets. Or, uh, filming locations, rather. Someone said it would be so beautiful if you could finish Twin Peaks. Kyle McLaughlin was given some award recently, and David Lynch called in, and he was like, My buddy Kyle! You, my buddy Kyle, he, say, he was saying some usual Lynchian weird stuff. He called him Kale. And then he said something from the movie Firewalk With Me, and I don't remember the quote, but I didn't understand it at first.
Chad, I need one second. Sorry. Sorry about that. Temperature related. I have to fix the temperature. Uh, there's blue over here. If I see any broken down cars, then I'm going to use my scrapper on them. Those seem to be the best source of things. Ah, great. Oh, good. You know what? We'll just we'll just park here. Perfectly acceptable place to park. next to President Koch, the top of her head barely clearing his shoulder. She stands, stiff backed, her hazel eyes affixed on the glass and steel chamber in front of her. She does not appear to breathe until a ball of light appears out of thin air. The sight is tremendous. A lightning bolt frozen mid-strike. Lightning bolt! Reaction immediate. The gathering audience roars with excitement and spontaneous applause. On Dr. Turner, only a tightening of her lips indicates that she hears the audience at all. Dr. Turner and President Koch pose for going on picture, over here. and she does not smile even then. That picture is the image splashed across newspapers and science journals for the next decade. I'm in danger. The mother of limb technology, they called her. The angel of a new age. The newspapers at that time laid the titles on thick while peddling the impending utopia. Then she recedes into the bowels of a government research facility. She's never seen again in public. There are scant appearances here and there in blink and you miss a promotional videos and blatant propaganda fodder. And then she and the promise of limb technology disappear. I can't pull these doors off and use them on my car, right? Or that's a separate tool, chat was saying. We definitely want to continue getting these steel panels. These are good. I hear rustling.
right, let's empty out the stuff. T. Frequency file. Did I not play that? I guess we just have that in there. I don't know what these red um, notes chat. What do I do with those? I'm sorry, chat has become tutorial, but. Or rather, the logbook or whatever, but. Yeah. You just store them? Okay, we got some blue. Uh, not going in there until I eat some beans. Doesn't amount to a whole hill of beans. What I think, but I'm gonna try to get in there. Let's eat some beans. How was the eclipse? Well, I talked about it a little earlier, but it was, um... Not really much going on over here. I mean, it got dark. I saw, you know... I saw the the shadows. But yeah, it wasn't like, um, I didn't go out of my way for it, and that's fine. It was kind of fun. I mean, I saw people were having, like, eclipse parties. <laughs> did you see the 2017 eclipse? I did, yeah. And for that, I was also at the recording studio, so... For this, this one and that one. Did you see the video of someone flashing their balls on Mexican news while recording? No. I, you know what's weird though? I read that to myself very, like, quickly before I read it out loud, and I, I read fisting my balls. And I very, 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 very quickly realized that's not the word that you used. And you may think, oh, Vinny doesn't actually read stuff like that. No, I, I do. Seriously, once in a while, my brain just is completely fucking rotten. Now, I didn't need to say that out loud. I most certainly didn't need to read that out loud. Yeah, um, yeah, someone stepping on dime balls would be very bad. That's not good. You don't want that to happen. So I, I think, um, this is kind of tedious. I will say that I understand there's probably a better tool. But for the time being, this is the best way to get scrap metal, it seems. And yeah, it's pretty tedious. And oh, I'm dying. Let's not die, or try not to. I don't think I have any other food, so I, um... We can make... a med kit of some kind. First aid kit. You know what? Let's just keep moving. Still don't know what a bunny type anomaly is. Oh, oh, it's the... Okay. Thanks. Thanks. 
I didn't realize they did that. Um, it's those, those fucking balls from before that latched onto the car. Apparently, it's the dime balls. Oh my god. No, 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 get in, close the door. What are you doing? Great. One, ve oh, very wonderful. That is very wonderful. Vehicle protection compromised. What's that noise? What's that noise? Yeah, that was, that was not good. Once again, car is, like, completely fucked up. And we are in another dangerous kind of region here. Oops. That's the wrong thing. I saw yellow and I was like, oh yeah, that's the thing that you can grab. It wasn't the thing you could grab. again over here. much else here. Hot dust. It's fucking spicy Cheeto dust. Fellas. Might be time to leave. Well, the area is still not closing in. Man, just think I could have gone fast. Okay.
Okay. Uh, oh, there's some good yellow. There's better yellow in this region than I expected. gonna die, aren't I? My god. It's going so slow. take a little bit of health damage every time. 5%. 5%. 5 5%. 3%. 3%. Why is it so low? Why is my health so low? 3%. 1%. 1% health. 1% health. 1% health! thing or two? My dear newbie, there's hope for you yet. Does it look like I'm learning? <laughs> doesn't doesn't seem that way to me. I still can't make this the, the thing the utility, I don't think. Limb pulse emitter. No. Oh, get expanded locker. No, we can't. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to spend too much time uh, fucking with the car right now. I'm just going to grab some materials and then do a BRB. But yeah, game is fun. I mean, that was fucking intense. Just going through and almost dying there at 1%. Hopefully, um, hopefully that doesn't happen again. It'll happen again. Vinny, thoughts on Balatro's first pa uh, patch. Did that actually happen yet? It's in beta. I read read some stuff about it, but I don't know 100% what they're doing with it. Use yellow lockers for storage. Oh, yeah. That's, that's one way to do it. 
Um, I'm worried if I do that, though, I'm, I'm not going to end up remembering that they're in there. Tell you what, let me just make these... ...steel sheets, and I'll get the, the bigger storage. I was going to get it anyway, so... Ended locker kit. Uh oh. That's just more lockers. All right. Fair enough. Uh, good for spare parts. Yeah, that's good, because all that larger stuff gets to uh, live in there now. And the ingredients can go in there. Um, so yeah, I'll actually try to fix the car next time. Alright, we'll take a quick break. Anyway, game is good. Um... Hope you enjoyed watching. <laughs> I mean, hey. It's good to have extra parts. Let's save here. I'll probably come back to this. But yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of got uh, an addictive loop. There's definitely some stuff I could see myself getting a little bit bored of. Like, I'm enjoying the gameplay loop and the atmosphere and everything enough that I want to keep playing. But of course, there's some stuff that feels like busy work and chores. But I know that that probably speeds up as you continue to play. But yeah, not bad. Um, we will... Play it again, perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we'll take a quick break. I will be back with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth in just a couple minutes. <laughs>